Hello and welcome back to another Let's Roll Play of Dragon Age 2. I am Marion Hawk. Now, planning to go back to my... It's Meryl's home. My... The Hawk Estate. And I have some runes that I'd like to order and uh, put into... I think it's just uh, Fenris's. We have another... Fenris's... You've had uh, luck on your travels? His mom. A new letter on your desk awaits your attention. What's going on, Evelyn? Did you ever run the wilds, boy? Kirkwall is no city for a breed used to open spaces. Nice as your estate is, it's not healthy for a Mabari to be cooped up. May I take him to the barracks time to time? He could help train my guards. I guess that's fine. I'm sure he'll enjoy that. Thanks for the offer. Good. I think it's time they face down a good old Mabari charge. How about it, boy? Want to chew on some recruits? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, she took him. That's fine. Um, let's see. New mail. Monsieur Hawk, I wanted to thank you for helping my brother. I worry about what Templars will do to Karen, but it's what he wants. He's grateful that you defended him before Sir Cullen. Thank you from both of us, Maka. Uh, I worry about what Templars will do to Karen. Hmm. Yeah, Karen's the one that we saved, actually, and he had to wait ten years. Ten years before he can become a full Templar knight. But, uh, yeah... I don't mind helping. Order runes. Okay, so, um... He has... I think I have a rune of impact. I'm not sure what else I could give him, actually. I mean... Because this is the damage that he does. So... Let's see uh, what he can do. So it's Oathbreaker. Oh, wait. Is it? I don't know if I have this this right. Uh, well, apparently he has physical damage to it. 43 per second. Oh, uh, yeah. Sebastian could use his. Uh, maybe that's what I was thinking. And Sting... I don't think that anybody's using that. Yeah, so, so, so Sebastian's... Uh, where are you? Right here. We'll, do, we'll put it on this. Two runes of impact. And Alira's Crook, this is what I want to give to Anders. I give him a Rune of Spirit. And we can give a Rune of Fire as well. There. Ooh, enchantment! <laughs> Interesting. Hello, Mother. Are you really getting involved with those Canari? Be careful. They don't think like us. You said it. They definitely do not. So, back out. Uh, Fenris. Meryl. And Sebastian. Okay, so basically everything is taken care of. Andrew's Clinic. We do need to go search in Low Town. Let's go to Low Town. We need to find what happened to Emmerich. Kind of concerned. Um, yeah. And then at night time while we're out here. I mean, we have to wait till night anyways. Uh, Your armor is very shiny, Sebastian. Doesn't that make you an easier target? The light of the Maker is my armor, Meryl. I am not afraid. Maybe you could ask him to make his light less shiny? Then you wouldn't need as much armor. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, since we'll be out here anyways. We're looking for Emmerich. I don't know. I don't have a clue where it could be. Just said a side alley in Lowtown. Oh, we can always take a look for him at night as well. It's a bit of a side alley coming up over here. Oh, uh, well, right here? Yeah, there's a side alley over here. Nope, no Emmerich. He's the Templar that was looking into Nanette's uh, death and other things. Other women that have been killed. 
What? I don't remember this merchant being here before. Uh, Aveline, new guard upgrade for her. Are you the smith? I'm a smith. <laughs> Is smith your name or your profession? Yep. Is smith your name or your profession? Yep. Okay. I'll be going now. A little strange. Quality armor. The best outside of Orzammar. How many slaves died in these foundries, I wonder? That's a very bleak way of looking at it, but yeah, it did happen. As I go through Kirkwall, I, I try not to think of such things as a very dark past. I don't want to get caught up in it because things have changed, obviously. It's the ancient history. The people who were doing it are long gone. They were chased out by Andraste's armies. But even after that... Oh, that's my uh, newborn. I'm sorry about that, guys. I mean, I'm... If I, if I can't make movies uh, while I look after them, uh, it's pretty hard for me to make any. Okay, maybe I'll get a little bit of uh, time to play. <laughs> Not easy. Okay, so, I mean, we've been searching around the alleys. I guess I didn't search Low Town during the day. It's hard for me to remember. Whoa, what's, what's with the slowdown? Basically froze up there for a second while I was opening up the crate. Yeah, I'm not comfortable with the Canary being in the city. I actually want them out. This is uh, madness. One thing I'd be dealing with the mages and the Templars, the Canary thrown into this, is just it's a very uncomfortable situation. Although it's obviously the, the Canary are the ones that are going to uh, come to blows for us, if anything, because this is our old home. Gamlin's house. Let's go see what Uncle's up to, if he's even home. I haven't even thought about doing this, actually. And he is home. What a hovel. There's dirt coming up through the floorboards. This is where we stayed for f four years. <laughs> oh, uh, wait. Yeah, about four years close to it, because it took a while to get my place finished up. Maybe about three years, actually, in all, all time. So you're moving up in the world? Got some coin to share with your favorite uncle? Uh-huh. Of course. What a sleaze ball. Sleaze bag, sleaze ball, both of them. Goodbye, uncle. Have fun in your hov hovel. And spending all your time during the night and money at the uh, brothel. Okay, so let's go down here. The alienage should be to the left. There's no crate there. Let's go speak to Meryl in her home. She wanted to speak with me there. Yeah, unfortunately, Ariani couldn't help her son, Fainrael. It's a shame. He begged me to make him tranquil. I wish things had gone differently. The higher your defense score, the greater the likelihood that an enemy's attack... Uh, missed it. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, speak to Meryl. I've got something to show you. Come and see. It's beautiful, isn't it? Uh... Something seems off about your mirror. Shouldn't it reflect the room? No. It's not that sort of mirror. I've spent the last few years restoring this. One of my clan found it in the Brazilian forest, we think. Poor Tamlin. We never found him. Just the shattered pieces of the Alluvian. She uh, was connected to the... Like, if you did the Dragon Age Origins uh, Dalish Elf start, that you would under completely understand what she's talking about. She was actually there. Uh, I don't know if she was there... But she was part of the clan, and you can run into her in Dragon Age Origins. She looks different, though. And I wouldn't have known it unless I saw a screenshot. I mean, she's not very attractive as uh, the one in Dragon Age Origins. I don't even know if you actually see that her name is Meryl. I think that's just... It was listed as Meryl as one of the characters. You'd have to look it up somehow. 
kind of like in a movie, you see some side character, you don't know their name because no one brings it up, but uh, if you were to like look in the credits, the name would be there. What are you trying to do with this mirror? At first, I just wanted to find Tamlin, but it's been too long. Tamlin is probably dead by now, if he wasn't already. But still, I know it can help my people. I can at least recover this one small part of our heritage. This thing is what made the Keeper send you away, isn't it? The Keeper wanted me to destroy the fragment I kept. She said our ancestors meant it to be forgotten. But it's a Keeper's place to remember. Even the dangerous things. We argued. I... left. She's wrong. This mirror could teach us so much about who we once were. But what about, and your blood magic too? I don't know about this. Do you think the mirror had something to do with Tamlin's disappearance? The ruin we trapped Tamlin to was full of traps and monstrous things, but we found no body. His trail ended at the broken pieces of Alluvion. Alluvion? What's an Alluvion? Long ago, the elves had a kingdom. An empire that covered Thedas. And every city had an Alluvion. The mirrors let them communicate across their empire. But I don't know how exactly. My people have lost so much. We know almost nothing of the days before Arlathon. This is a piece of our history. If you watch my Dragon Age uh, Origins Witch Hunt, you'll know all about the Alluvions. I don't know why she's done what she did, but... Hmm. I'm sure you wouldn't show something this dangerous to just anyone. It's not dangerous, I promise. I fixed it, or, or tried to, with blood magic. The mirror won't hurt anyone. But it doesn't work. I've tried everything, and I think it's because it needs to be finished with a special tool. And a rule in home. And my clan has one. It's been in their hands for generations. Hmm. Go talk to the Keeper, then. I just can't. You have no idea, the Keeper. I, I can't talk to her. We fight or, or talk circles around each other. She has a disappointed frown that turns your bones to jelly. Please help <laughs> me. You will, won't you? Hmm. I don't know, Meryl. I don't like the idea of what you're doing. Uh, I'll see about helping. But, oh, I don't know. See, I'm really torn with this. She doesn't know what... She doesn't seem to know what's good for her. She's getting into blood magic. She's conversing with demons. She even fell to a demon. A demon's influence in the Fade. I think she just doesn't really know what she's doing, and she's digging herself in deeper. I'll help. I'll go with you. Maseranus, I'll find some way to repay you, I promise. Doesn't mean, uh, if it looks bad, especially I'd like to see what the Keeper has to say. If it's really that bad, I'm not going to help her. I think she's just misguided. She thinks what she's doing is to help her people, but, you know. Um, we need to go to the Hangman. Definitely need to go to the Hangman. We search all throughout Lowtown. We cannot find Emmerich, so... Go to the Hangman. We also have to be here at night. There's a couple things happening here at night. And a couple things happening during the day. Sir Roderick, we are to... What were we to use him for? How to frame a Templar. Find ways to slander Sir Conrad Vernhart. Sir Roderick in the Hangman is investigating corrupt Templars. There may be other opportunities in Lowtown and the Gallows. Uh, who, who are you? You're a Templar. I'm here to report Sir Conrad. I know him. Did he do... something? Or something? <laughs> One moment. Are you well? Oh, it's just the... you know, it's hard to think sometimes. But I will do my duty. If you've seen something... um... suspicious, let me know. Oh my gosh. 
He's been sacrificing goats. I saw him murder someone. Uh, I think this first one, Conrad was bribed by mages. Sir Conrad caught some apostates. They offered him coin to let them go, and he took it. Sir Conrad? Are you sure? I'm afraid so. Well, this needs to be reported. I can't believe it. So, I noticed some notes on the table the other day. Interesting work. Order a drink, since we're here. I'm doing a little writing. What's a speed, Griffin? <laughs> Do they zip around faders? Ter don't mind the drunks. They're friendlier than they look. And they don't bite. Much. What's the word on the street? The craziest thing. No, no. Apparently. The pigeon pop Okay, we've already heard this one. So you don't need to, you don't need to say that. What else? Innocent things. Any other news? Liam, the arbor master, was in the raiders' pockets. And he seemed like such an honest man. Grumpy, but we've honest. We've heard this one before. Any other news? Some folk are smuggling majors out of Kirkwall. We've heard this too. I hear the freed majors congregate in the mountains to plot Kirkwall's downfall. <laughs> okay. Any other news? Harlan's thinking of changing the name of the Blooming Rose to Harlan's Harlots. <laughs> Harlan's Harlots, okay. Thanks. I should go. Anytime. Enough of that. Is there anything? Oh, there's Isabella. I've got that ship for her. I have something for you. Ooh, what's this? Oh, isn't that just the cutest thing? <laughs> I saw it and thought it would be perfect for you. It is. This is probably the only ship I'm going to have for a while. How pathetic is that? Cooing over a model ship. Thank you, Hawk. This was a thoughtful gesture. A ship for Isabella. Now, uh, Varric also wanted to speak with us. This is leaving the area. I'm going the wrong way. I haven't seen you in a while, friend. I've got some news. And maybe you should be sitting down for this. Or drunk. Or both. <laughs> yeah. Why don't I buy you a pint and we'll talk? You just keep making this harder. Although I won't say no to a pint if you're buying. I've had an ear out for Bartrand. After the deep roads, he ran to Ravane, Probably because he knew I couldn't track him. But I hear he might be back in Kirkwall. He called in loans from a few of his contacts in Hightown. That little bastard. Bethany might be alive still if he didn't turn against us. Was he staying in Hightown, or just passing through? If my information is good, and it's always good, he has a house there. Which gives us a good shot at having a word with my dear sweet brother. Why does every scoundrel live in Hightown? How are you holding up, Varric? You're asking about me? If it weren't for Bartrand, Bethany would still be here. He has to answer for that. I have to set this right. As much as that's possible. I agree. Would Bartrand really risk coming back here? I think we both know by now that Bartrand would risk anything for money. There's a much better market here for that trinket he stole. And all his contacts are in Kirkwall. We need some answers from your brother. I agree. Bianca's been missing him something awful. Let's stop by his new house. Welcome him back to the neighborhood and all that. I agree, totally. Okay, so, uh... Ravane. It's one of the northernmost, uh... Kingdoms. Nowhere in my travels, not in the heart of Imperium, nor the streets of Orzammar, have I felt so much an outsider as in Ravane. The Chant of Light never truly reached the ears of these people. The years they spent under the thumb of the Canari left most of the country zealous followers of the Kuhn. But resistance to the Chant goes deeper than the Canari War. 
The Raveni refuse to be parted from their seers, wise women who are in fact hedge mages, communicating with spirits and actually allowing themselves to become possessed. The Chantry prohibi prohibition against such magical practices violates millennia of local tradition. From in pursuit of knowledge, the travels of a Chantry scholar by Brother Genetivi. Very helpful man, he's providing me with knowledge of half the world. Okay, so uh, we need to come here at night. Good one. We definitely need to look into those missing uh, canari, because uh, this could get really ugly fast. So I'll have to do that in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.